All rise. Sports Court is in session. Sports Court, sponsored by the Grand Rapids Gold. If you haven't heard, the Michigan State Spartans had a monumental loss, which leads us to ask the question this week, what's the ceiling for the MSU basketball program this season? Michigan State dropped their season opening game to James Madison. It's the first time ever in Tom Izzo's career that he's lost a November home game. Yikes. On paper, it looks like they've got all the pieces needed to make a deep NCAA tournament run. I think the ceiling is a Final Four for Michigan State. They're going to finish second place in the Big Ten behind Purdue because they can't slow down Zach Eady. They've got the talent to make a Final Four run. I think that's as far as they can go. They're not going to make it to the championship game. They're not going to win a national championship. Michigan State basketball, the ceiling is a Final Four this season. Jamal, the ceiling for this team is a national championship. Tom Izzo has all of the pieces in place to make a run for the whole thing. The fact that they had a team that went to the Sweet 16 uh, last year and everyone's back apart from Joey Hauser, and they were really a play or two away from going to the Elite Eight. And now they add this highly touted freshman class that they haven't had uh, since 2016, I believe. Michigan State is in a prime position to make it all the way to the national championship, win it all, and I really think this might be the year Tom Izzo gets championship number two. Talking about that 2016 recruiting class, I can only assume you're talking about Cassius Winston, uh, you're talking about Miles Bridges, you're talking about Joshua Langford, Nick Ward. That nucleus as a group never made it out of the first weekend of the NCAA tournament. Tom Izzo's been to eight Final Fours in his career. Do you know how many national championship games he's played in? Two. He won the first, got absolutely destroyed in the second one in 2009. I know this team, again, on paper, looks to be a popular pick. I think they still have questions in the low post. They do not have a viable scoring option at center. Talented, yes. Experienced, yes. Hall of Fame coach, sure. I still think this is the second place team in the Big Ten, and I still think they don't go any farther than a Final Four, which would still be a tremendous accomplishment. Well, Jamal, I mean, you look at last year, Zach Eady, Purdue, they lost in the first round. You don't need a big man, obviously, to get upset in the first round. I think Michigan State has all the pieces in place at the ones and the two. Tyson Walker, oh my gosh, unbelievable as always. We know what you're getting in Tyson Walker. You know what you're getting in A.J. Hogard. You know what you're getting in the big man, Mati Sissoko. But if the freshmen step up, national championship could be on the horizon. What's your verdict, jury at home? Comment on Facebook, and next week we'll highlight our favorites. Like last week, we asked if the NCAA investigation should affect Michigan's ranking. Gene took a procedural route. It's an investigation, and there should be no action taken until it's complete. And allegations of rules broken can be proven with data. Until then, it's just a rumor. Belinda likes both sides of the issue. I think all schools do this or similar. And Jake wants to bring the hammer down. I think the parties proven involved should be fired and the school fined. Also, the NCAA needs to allow helmet communications. I agree on that last part. Well, until we can beam ourselves directly into your heads, we're going to help you join us again next week. Sports Court is adjourned.